Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to animate the camera in Blender and how to use the dope sheet, uh, which is a simple way of changing uh, uh, the timings of your keyframes. Okay, so I've got a simple scene set up here. Um, I've got a box that I've cut in half um, as my background. I've got a light here and here. My camera is here. And uh, my scene, well, my um, point of interest are these two spheres here. Okay, and I'm in Cycles Render at the moment, and we're using uh, Blender 2.7. Okay, so to animate your camera, uh, click, first click on your camera, and then go into your camera, which is zero on the key, the numpad, sorry. So you go into your camera, okay? And then, if you haven't got this toolbar down the side, you press N, and that will reveal that toolbar. And what I need uh, to do is to lock camera to view. So I click on that, and when I move around now, my camera will follow my viewport. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can um, see these two balls uh, nicely. Okay, and move it to where I want the camera to start, which is going to be, let's say, we'll come out a little bit and we'll come down a bit um, about there, here. Okay, so this could be uh, maybe your logo or something like that that you're trying to um, animate and look uh, special for your company. Um, okay, so um, I want the camera to start here. Uh, let's um, just go to uh, the side view so you can see where the camera is going to start. Okay, it's going to start here and then it's going to come around here to the front um, where it's going to show these two balls from the front. Okay, let's get back into the camera. Uh, lock camera to view is set up and then I want to add a keyframe. Uh, you can do this by pressing the record button down here um, or you can just press I on your keyboard and say um, insert keyframe for location, so click on that, press I again and insert keyframe for rotation, because those are the only things that are being animated. Now what you should see down here is a little yellow line, that's a keyframe for my camera and when this is my timeline down here, so when I move it along it, t it says the number of um, uh, the frame just on here and at frame uh, 1 um, it is um, orange which means it's got a keyframe on it. I want this animation to last for two seconds, so I'm going to go to frame 50 and then move my camera to where I want it to be for frame 50. So it's locked to view, so if I move it around like this, move it across, and then let's say we'll come in right close here and down to here, okay? And then I need to insert a keyframe there. So I press I on my keyboard, press location, I on my keyboard, and press rotation. And now I've got a keyframe here at frame 50, and a keyframe here at frame 1. And if I drag across here, my camera is now animated. Okay, uh, now what I was going to show you as well is the dope sheet. So if I pull this down here, this little corner piece here, pull it down like this, I get two scenes. Okay, and I want to change this one to the dope sheet, which is just here. Okay, now you can actually see uh, the keyframe, uh, the keyframes for my different items. Uh, now, if I, I'm not sure quite why everything has a keyframe, I must have pressed record earlier, but the main thing I want is the camera there, as you can see, so the camera's there, you can grab these in your usual way, you grab any element and zoom in and shift click, so you're, it's like you're moving around the scene, um, same tools um, that you'd use. So in my camera, um, I should have rotation and location animated and both of them together up here and I can grab these by uh, right clicking, pressing G and gr grabbing it around and can you see in my timeline down down here it's moving as well so I press G again to grab it and then I can change the timing so if I wanted to start one second in I can move it over to here and it will start later so if I start there and it, then it starts moving okay so that's the dope sheet and you grab these by right clicking on them and you can grab them and move them around so if you um, set up your timing to start off with and think, actually, I want that bit to be a bit slower, you go into the dope sheet and move them across and around. Okay, I hope that helps.